The Unimog truck can now be enjoyed in SnowRunner on PC and console, thanks to a mod called the Unipog MP500. Here's what it's like to drive. Hello and welcome to a tribe called Ben Can't Count Wheels. In this video, we're doing a truck mod review of the Unipog MP500 which is the name you give a Mercedes Unimog if you want to avoid a lawsuit. In fact, those on PC, but not PlayStation or Xbox, can also download a secondary add-on that adds a Mercedes-Benz badge, in case you want your Unimog, I mean Unipog, to be more realistic. Now, the Unimog is a truck I have driven in real life, and it's epic! and terrifying. Seriously, it makes the chance of driving over other road users way too easy. Anyway, that means many of you will know I was excited for an add-on, as I talked about it in a previous video, link in the description. And in short, this mod does not disappoint. Costing 41,000 SnowRunner yen, or whatever it is, the off-road class Unipog MP500 is cheap. It also has switchable all-wheel drive and diff lock, and an aftermarket ECU for boosting its power to weight rating to S. There's also a slow off-road gearbox for slower speeds, but improved traction, rock crawler style. Suspension meanwhile is a three-pronged selection, standard heavy duty, which is all about maximum ground clearance, and crawler, which is a soft and flexible suspension for exploration and maintainer. Just don't use it for cargo hauling, apparently. Unlike a lot of mods, the tyre selection fits with the truck in real life. Ranging between 40 and 43 inches, the Unipog can go with realistically sized off-road mud and chained offerings. Remember which you use, as the spare wheel add-ons are tyre specific, in case you want it to match. Being a smaller truck, it's good for exploration that there's an autonomous winch option or a 32 meter overpowered offering if range is your bag. Having one or two roof height snorkels meanwhile makes deeper water crossings possible, and it can tow various size trailers. What about those all important frame add-ons? Well, the Unimog, sorry, Unipog, has various cargo beds, including one with a sideboard and two without. They all look quite cute. Or you can fit the Explorer tray for repair points and fuel, 300 and 250 of each, respectively. Or slap on the IM50 loading crane and load stuff. Or rescue trucks with the MP500 maintenance body. Or do a crane and cargo bed for peace of mind. Whatever you go for, the truck looks awesome. And it reminds me of Lodi McLoadface's versatility. When it comes to customization, there aren't many colors and sadly nothing multicolored. But there are seven rooftop options, some of which require you to fit the maintainer van body add-on. Plus, there's either a single or dual exit exhaust. So, how does the Unipog MP500 drive? Like you would expect, which is actually a big compliment. It's absurd what the real-life truck can do, and you get that feeling when at the wheel of this mod. It doesn't blitz through everything unrealistically, but you know, it will usually prevail. This is especially true when you use the crawler gearbox, which acts like the fine-tuned box introduced in Phase 3. You can set how slow or fast it cruises in a low gear to have, for instance, more speed control in deep mud and steeper scents. The downside of this is that, true to the real Unimog, progress is slow and steady. Speed demons should definitely look elsewhere. That's not what this truck is about. If, however, you want to savor the difficult terrain, get your pog out, so to speak. Meanwhile, the interior is detailed enough to make it fun to drive in the first-person view. I'm just wondering who left their sandwiches on the passenger seat, and why there's some loose fuel just waiting to detonate. Mmm, safety. Anyway, I love that the Unipog MP500 makes exploration and scouting entertaining. For those bored with the current selection of smaller SnowRunner trucks, I would give it a go. And seeing as console mods are supposedly in a better place after an update, there's no excuse not to. So yeah, my mod review rating for the Unipog MP500 is 10 cups of tea out of biscuit. It fits in SnowRunner as if it were made by the developers. Enjoy it before the lawsuit hits. And that's it for a Tribe Called Cars and SnowRunner mod reviews. Thank you for watching. Feel free to recommend any mods that I should look at. It's always nice to see what the community is up to. 
Keep eating those vegetables. I shall see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.